what's going on everyone it's greg back with some more mirror four and today i want to talk about clans and you know i don't think a lot of people understand exactly how important a clan is and how important a good clan is you know a lot of times in games you need to a clan and sometimes you just make your own you get some random people in there or you join a random one but in mirror four clans are very 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 important and it's important for your advancement in the game even more so important is if you have a clan that is owning a valley. The ones that don't have a valley, it just is is a lot slower for those folks. So let's get into you know the general benefits of a clan. You know, in the clan we have multiple techs to work on. You have a clan development, which is going to be just you know stuff that the clan can do, space in the storage. Um, you know, there's some things to target in here, such as scripture hall, uh, to speed up the tech evaluation, but nothing in here like necessarily directly impacts the player, except maybe like trading depot in terms of the items that are on the shop and stuff. But when you get into clan refinement, this is where things really take a turn. In clan refinement, you have additional stat boosts, such as physical attack. You got physical defense, you got boss uh, attack damage, monster attack damage. Guys, all this is, are boosts to your character that are permanent. Like, if I left the clan right now, I would lose power. My power would go down because I'm missing all of these stats. If you look at clan uh, warfare, this is stuff you need to develop to advance, you know, the clan in terms of war and PvP. Then you have some activation tech. We don't quite know how this works. In my opinion, the way this works is you have to charge this up and then you get one hour of uh, of time of the, on the EXP boost, which is currently at 4%. For 48,000 here, th that's just not worth it. This could be an in-game thing, like once you have everything else filled out, but right now it doesn't seem like anything that's actually worth it. So you get some benefits from the tech. What else do you benefit from? Well, support. You can support people, and people can support you to speed up your uh, different things you got going on, like your unsealing boxes or you know working on your towers. They can help advance that. Then supply. All this stuff you can do you do most of the time on your own anyway. You're going to get clan points as well as give some resources to the clan. And then under clan gifts, everyone who runs raids. Is you're in a very active clan you're gonna be filling up this gift box and you'll get this gift box and you also get a lot of gifts under a uh, comment and if you have anyone in your clan that's spending you'll get some gifts under lucky I actually get quite a bit from here it's, it's very very nice the clan shop this is by far like one of the things you're definitely gonna need because promotional mats are so hard to get so you got the magic stone box the blue devil stone box your purify water box and your virtue pill box you need access to the shop. It's, it's going to help you in a lot of ways. And then, especially once you own a valley, you'll be able to buy these stones. Um, in terms of warehouses where you're going to donate to the clan, there is some targeting and stuff like that. Diplomacy, you can ally with other clans. That's very useful as well. Expeditions are huge. So, this is really a, a huge thing because if you're in a clan, that maybe only can do like one fox spirit beast that's all the materials you're gonna get that week in our clan if we can run everything which we had up to this point we haven't finished a red moon devil hopefully this week maybe but right now we run two fox beast spirit two demon bulls and two hell rock fiends under in like 20 minutes and we get a ton of these rewards and resources and just now in the latest patch they add clan challenge so again you need to be in a nice active strong clan so you can get to the challenge and get these nice materials then that's expedition uh we talked about tech supply all this good stuff so this is these are all benefits of the clan now what if you own a valley what does that mean that means you're going to get a ton of resources into the clan let's take a look at this territory screen and you can see here the daily yield is what's being produced in out of the valley which is 79 million the warehouse capacity 
we have like 24.9 million in the warehouse you can see this on the other ones as well and if I go into the warehouse you can see the uh, dark steel storage as well as the income what you're getting and if you look here you can see on about a daily basis that the um, Bishop Valley is generating around almost 25 million dark steel for the clan from there it could be distributed to individuals which before this recent update you would have to put it on the merchant at a low price and hope that your your clan mates get it in a quick enough time period before anyone ninjas it but now they added this nice feature you can do an individual distribution then you can also distribute to the clan warehouse and you could send it to other clans as well so that's why alliances are very good to have and i think that really about covers it from there once you have all that uh, dark still it allows you to put those stones pieces on the shop and it also gives you something an incentive to offer your clan the people in the clan so maybe you have a rule you need to show up for the war and then each week you can get a distribution of one million dark steel or something like that you know whatever it is so you know i don't know what our distribution is this week but previously i was able to get two million dark steel for 200 gold which is a pretty darn good deal so that that is really goes over that really covers the benefits of a clan like you really must have a clan and being in a clan that owns a valley is even better now there are also bad clans out there you might get a clan that owns the valley but maybe the leader is corrupt run you know takes all the dark steel and runs so you gotta do you do have to be a little bit careful but if you can find you a good clan with good you know people that i mean it's also important to find people that speak your language and a good community to grow with you can get very far in the game i can tell you this that me and my friend we were in another clan and we were we enjoyed the game love helping people we helping people but honestly we were getting a little too far advanced and we needed other people to do stuff with well due to the fact we're in this like little no-name guild or no-name clan when we would be out and about trying to do our stuff we would get killed by the anyone in the top three alliance so we did made a decision that okay hey this is not working out we need to be able to advance in the game we need to you know see if we can join another clan and that's when we got in contact with some other folks and that's how we ended up in this clan it has uh, you know a portion of Chinese speaking and a portion of Brazilians and we have a few English folks and a few of those folks can speak English so overall the communication is not terrible but you know it, it is what it is we're all working together we're all advancing together and that's what counts you need to be with people that are advancing at the same pace as you and so that you can you know get far in the game if you're just super strong but you are you know the strongest person in your clan it's not worth that in this game you are better off being in a strong clan that's doing like multiple expeditions that's getting the valley and things like that so i hope this information helps i'm not trying to discourage anyone like the game is still fun to play i still would have played the game if i didn't get in the clan but it does make a difference you need your people to be active and you don't even necessarily have to own the valley just have a nice active clan that's working together so i hope like i said i hope this information was helpful if you guys like this little tidbit of information hit the like button if you're not subscribed yet hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on and i'll catch you guys in the next one